If you love live theater, then you'll be so glad you stuck around for more Explore Tulsa. That's right, Stevie. For years, the American Theater Company of Tulsa has made its home in several different venues. But now they have one that they can call their own. And for us, that means we can look forward to all sorts of great theater. When I was eight, I was living in Germany and uh, I needed an extracurricular activity. I originally wanted to go take piano lessons. So I had one piano lesson and uh, we, we got a call after my lesson that my teacher had moved out of the country. After that, they had some drama lessons that were also starting simultaneously and I got into that and have never looked back. I, I was, uh, you know, kind of an overweight kid so Sometimes drama allowed me to do things I didn't necessarily feel comfortable doing. I've always kind of been very social, so. But uh, at core, really, I just love stories in any way, shape, or form, and I just love dramatic storytelling. And her name was Tilly Evans. ATC's been around for uh, 45, 46 years. When I, I guess, came into the company, I was in college, and I actually was teaching some of their summer education classes and I think that was uh, it was a while ago it was in the 90s in the mid 90s so I, I moved away for a time went to graduate school and came back and found that I had this family of, of theater professionals that were waiting to invite me back into the fold ah this is awesome because you know we set our own terms with this place um, we can do shows for as long as we like here we have a dedicated rehearsal space, dedicated classroom space. Before, we were able to make the company run and function, but um, it was largely off of the largesse of others. Here, it's, it's a place where we can really make it our home and really get back to making ourselves just, it's just immersing ourselves in the creativity of theater. I think uh, a lot of the shows that we intend to do in this space um, will probably be um, of a different sort than the ones that we would normally do over at the Performing Arts Center. Um, there's gonna be a lot of variety. There'll be some musical shows, there'll be cabaret type performances, there will be hopefully some sketch comedy, maybe some live game shows. So um, we understand that the way that theater is in Tulsa, it's not that people really make plans really far in advance. It's like, well, what's going on this weekend? Well, let's, let's see. Uh, uh, oh, what's this happening at ATC Studios? We want to be that event which is going to catch people's interest and bring them down to the space. And then, okay, We do have open, uh, open auditions, so we, we get some actors from other performances. Uh, it, it is awesome to be able to bring in other, to bring actors that you know because you, you kind of know their skill set. And um, even though you know your skill set, even for this show, um, Snoopy's one of the main characters, and her role is it's a very physical role. So I wanted to select her for the show because I knew what her talents were, but I also wanted to push her in another direction as well. And I think um, that's kind of cool about developing a theater family. You have people who, who know what you can do, but also aren't afraid to push you in another direction. Yes, yes, no, no, no. Yes. I initially was an actor, so I direct like an actor, um, or, or I use that to my advantage. What I like about directing is it gives me the ability to shape an idea and really steer the actors. Because, you know, it, the thing about theater is I know a lot of people when they think about actors, you know, that's all they think about. But um, the actors are, are really just a tool, just like the lights, just like the, the, the scene design, to express kind of like the director's overall vision. So I like being the person to come up with a creative vision and then being able to put the pieces in place which are going to, to, to bring that vision to life.